so Valentine's-y. I try. I feel like I'm like the death of Valentine's Day. Wait, we're like so opposite today and I love We really it. are. But I love that for us. I'm so dark and you're so light. But it's always been that way. Hey guys, it's Jesse V and I am back here with Mandy V. Yay, hello. She's all pink. Yeah, I'm feeling the Valentine's Day vibes. You kind of like go with the backdrop, you know? I know, I sat and I looked and I was like, I'm vibing with this. All right guys, so as you can tell by the title of today's video, we're gonna be talking about creepy facts surrounding kid shows. Now we were born in the 90s, so a lot of this stuff pertains to us because it's early 2000s and the 90s stuff. So if you don't get it, I don't know that you don't get it. <laughs> if you get it, you get it. I feel like a lot of this stuff you guys will at least be familiar with, but yeah, prepare for the creepiness. Before I get started, uh, Mandy's YouTube channel is linked down below. She has more of a lifestyle channel. Basically just a lot of vlogging, a lot of lifestyle, a lot of trips and like outings, home decor, cooking, just come with me like on the journey of life and that's that. It's actually really fun and her editing is on point. Thanks. Anyway, it's linked down below. Go check it out after this video. Okay, so this first one is a little bit out there. It's that it's sort of a conspiracy theory about the Powerpuff Girls. One fan theory claims that the three girls are really the split personality of a woman called Brenda. She doesn't actually have superpowers and the professor is just her dad. The brightness of the show really resembles a psychotic fever dream. I like that. <laughs> But it's too much. No, but Brenda throws me off. The name. I think they just pulled a random name just to No, because I feel like I could buy that, but the Brenda doesn't really sit. Like, I don't understand because where the father plays into it. What would you name her? Well, no, I just, just leave it at that. Sally. No. Monique. <laughs> The next fact is that Curious George isn't really a monkey. Curious George, everybody's favorite monkey, isn't actually a monkey. Due to the fact that George isn't depicted with a tail, many fans believe that he's actually a chimpanzee and contrary to popular belief, chimps aren't monkeys. He doesn't have a tail? No. That was like a Mandela effect thing, by the way. Oh, like, for sure. Some people remember him with a tail and some people don't. I definitely remember him with a tail. He has no tail. Biologically, he would be a chimp. But comment down below if you remember the tail or not. The next really weird fact is that the Flintstones once advertised for a cigarette brand. In 1961, the cartoon cavemen were the stars of a TV advertisement for a cigarette brand. The commercial featured characters of the show buying and smoking cigarettes with great pleasure. Because because this was supposed to be a family-friendly show, parents were outraged. Well, it's the time. It was the 60s? 60s, everyone was smoking. Yeah. I mean, cigarettes weren't as badly spoken no, about no. as they are now. I mean, I remember when we were kids and people still smoked indoors. Yeah. At restaurants and stuff. You don't no see hate much. to anyone who smokes. No, no, no. <laughs> Not at all. But yeah, it was weird that they would use a cartoon to promote that when their target audience was really young. Like, why bother? It just seems weird. Use something else. There was so many popular shows at the time. Next is that Mojo Jojo was voiced by Ghostface. The voice actor of Mojo Jojo is Roger Jackson, who is the same guy who voices the notorious masked villain from the Scream franchise. Oh, that's so cool to know. I feel like they don't sound the same at all, but obviously- Mojo Jojo! Oh wait, I'm confused. I like thought- The voice of the Scream guy- Is a machine. Yeah. A voice like- Changer. Changer. But I guess someone had to be the voice of the voice changer. No, because it, when I think about it now, the, all the screen movies, it's always the same voice. Sydney. Actually. What's your favorite scary movie? Yeah. The next thing is that a show called Tiny Toons banned an episode featuring drunk children. Tiny Toon Adventures was known for being the even cuter, more childish spin-off of Looney Tunes. Apparently the show got a bit out of hand when they decided to do an episode where the characters drink some beer and then go do some messed up things like stealing a cop car and driving it off a cliff. The episode's antics eventually proved too much and the episode was banned. So I feel like older cartoons and stuff like that were a lot more like adult Themed. subjects. Yeah, like when I think of like Bugs Bunny and like Looney Tunes back in the day, there's a lot of violence. Yeah, I mean, I don't know what year of change. this came out, but if it was a spin-off of Looney Tunes, I, I couldn't have been, been after. Couldn't have been that old. Maybe the 90s. Anyway, totally weird, but things were different this back then. This is like all a difference in generations. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> this is like completely like, that was okay then. It's not okay now. The next fact is that Mel Blanc, who was the voice of Bugs Bunny, he has that's all folks on his tombstone. <gasps> 
He passed away back in 1989 at the age of 81. He left a timeless legacy behind him and his tombstone pays tribute to that. The inscription was a request of Mel Blanc himself who asked for it in his will. So like I think that's sweet and I like that a lot but like seeing it on a gravestone it's a little morbid. Wait that creeps you out? No it's not creepy. It's like sad. I think it's sad like I don't think it's weird then. No 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 I don't think it's weird. I'm not I'm not like <laughs> I'm not voicing how I'm feeling better. I'm like, he was Bugs Bunny for most of his life. No, I think that that's cute, but I also think that's kind of sad and morbid. Like, that's all, folks. He also played the voice of uh, that pig and Daffy Duck. He played <laughs> a lot pig. of the. <laughs> What's the pig's name? Porky Pig? Is that what it is? Yeah, I think that is. <laughs> Alright, the next fact is that the Teletubby set was destroyed. The vivid green grass hill was actually the hill of a farm in England where on a sunny days it was transformed into the Teletubby set. However, after the show officially stopped filming in 2001, the owner of the farm began to get people constantly sneaking onto her property to get a glimpse of the famous location. She became so sick of it that she flooded it with water to turn it into a pond to make it unrecognizable to the public. So she was being like harassed night and day. So like I get it, but at the same time like once you do that that's it. Like Teletubby history History is over. Why? She could have like made a profit out of that. She could have, it could have been like a tourist attraction. But it was like a family farm. Like, I don't think she wanted it to become like a theme park. You know what I mean? Well, what did she expect when she signed on to do the Teletubbies? <laughs> like, Teletubbies is an iconic show. Also, my hair, my, I look like the sun from Teletubbies, the baby. <laughs> you gotta do. Or like, why not make like an electric fence or something? I like remember it in my mind, like the hills and then the sun and like the beautiful sky and everything. But like, when I think back to the Teletubbies, I just think of like all those conspiracy theories and the creepy pictures and like Actually, the lost episodes. They're like, like seven foot something feet tall. Oh. The fact that they would be like They creep the me out now. They creep me out. Yeah, they do. Okay, the next fact, we have two more. The next one is about the Nickelodeon slime. Reports say that the original slime recipe was to take green latex paint and any old garbage you could find, then literally mix it together in a trash bin. Some accounts even recalled seeing chunks of old sausage in there. It was only when they couldn't get anyone to volunteer to have this foul mixture dumped on them that they changed the recipe to something more friendly. Ew. Yeah. That's disgusting. I can't even imagine Ew. how it would smell. Well, I guess they really wanted that to come across. Yes. Like, ooh, he got slime. They wanted it to be as gross as possible so people wouldn't want to get slime, making the game more, like, interesting. interesting. <laughs> oh, that's really like, sausage. Sausage? But, like, why was sausage in the garbage <laughs> bin on set? Like, I don't understand. Sausage? Like, old Tim was, like, eating a hot dog uh, and put the rest in there. Gus. Gus? Gus was eating a sausage and just threw it in the- Put it in the oh. slime. <laughs> Alright, and next is actually a really sad one, which I don't have like a huge paragraph on just because it could be literally its own video and there's so much more to talk about. But it's about Judith Barcy's death. Judith Barcy, who voiced Ducky in The Land Before Time, was murdered by her father in 1988. He actually murdered her mother as well. It was a whole thing. I think it's like a documentary on it and everything. But we used to love that movie as a kid and unfortunately she passed before it even came out. So I think she was the voice of the Ducky in the first one only. That's um, so sad. I did know about this but and she was only 10 years old at the time. That is so sad. I feel like this is like a really sad fact to end it off with. Yeah, a lot of messed up stuff. Yeah, so this video was about the TV show facts. The next video, because we're doing two actually, so we're going to be wearing the same thing in the next video. Unless you're changing, I don't know. No, I'm good. <laughs> Exposing keep, us keep changing. The, yeah, right? <laughs> keep, we'll pretend like it's the next it's day. It's a different day. day. Anyway, in the next video, we're going to be talking about creepy childhood facts, so generally. And yeah, don't forget <laughs> to check out Mandy's channel, link down below in the description. Have an awesome rest of your day, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Guys.